Hey guys, I want to show you what my husband does for smoking ribs, and these are for Carol. So, you have a, a smoker. This is a trigger. You open it. This is the first step. Open it. Do one click. One click to smoke. Put it on smoke for 10 to 15 minutes. So then you get your ribs ready while your smoker is getting prepped or you have your, your season them beforehand and we get the big old pack from Sam's or Costco and there's this membrane on the inside, the, the bony side of your ribs that you have to peel off. So let me come nice and close. You, you get up under the membrane and you peel this membrane off. And sometimes it peels right off and sometimes it doesn't. Let me get a good grip on this. And you can take a paper towel and you grip it with the paper towel and it can peel right off. See that membrane? You want that peeled off. before you smoke your ribs. And then I'm gonna wash my hands and then season it. I'll be back. I wanted to wash my hands before touching all the seasonings. So my husband has this California garlic. So it's just like garlic powder, sprinkle it on. Honestly, I don't know if he does both sides, but I'm gonna do both sides garlic powder, butt rub, sprinkle some butt rub on it. Oh my gosh, the ribs turn out so good. Sprinkle butt rub. Keep one hand clean, that's gonna be touching your seasoning. And there's onion powder. Whoop, on this side. Onion powder. And then there's this apple wood rub. Apple wood rub. Sprinkle some apple wood rub. And this is actually an extra one because we see my husband seasoned them earlier. So we put some applewood. I'm going to sneak some Italian leaves on it. I don't know if this will add any extra good flavor. It's just like an Italian, it's all these yummy flavors. And I'm going to add a little steak. Rib. Ugh, I've actually got goobers on my fingers, so I'll wipe these off afterwards. Sprinkle some steak sauce. And this one is actually going to be sealed. It's not going to be cooked today because I already have some ready to go right here. Woohoo! All right, I'll be back. So it's been 10 minutes, and on smoke, you turn it to two. 25 and you close the lid and now we wait and we make sure the pellets there's sometimes it gets a little funnel in there and so you have to make sure the pellets are going down in so it's 2.15 and it should be good enough Close to 225. Open this up. 
and you take your wire brush and you clean from the last time. And be careful of what you're wearing when you're cleaning your grill because not that I know from personal experience of wearing white. Sometimes it gets on you. Harder to do one-handed. And then you lay these down, bone side down. Slap those babies down. It's been smoking for about an hour and a half. And check it out. See how it kind of funnels? Can you tell it's funneling? And it's just bringing the pellets down. Can you see the ribs? Ooh, they're smoking. Okay, I'll be back. It's been almost two hours, and I came out to check on the pellets, and there was smoke coming out. I don't see smoke now. One more hour and about 15 minutes and it should be ready to get off the grill. And it's still, it's not necessarily 225, but like 209 right now. So I hear you want to raise the temperature for the last hour to 275, 250. The hotter temperature breaks down the membrane of the ribs and the internal temperature of the ribs need to be 145. Four hours after starting, they look amazing. Too bad you can't smell it. It's so good. Mmm. Yum. Bye-bye.